I'm not even gonna front with you. This was mid, and I hate the word mid, but I'm gonna use it anyways. This was big middle. I would like to do this new thing on the channel to talk about these big new, whatever is coming out. You know, if it's if it's a state of play, Nintendo Direct, I love to do that. And for this experience here, the main thing I want to talk about is Fire Emblem. Right, this video would just be Fire Emblem. So let me get that clear. If, if you're looking for, you know, all the farming games and stuff like that, I'll do that in another video. This one, I just want to talk about Engaged, okay? Now, I'm going to be honest. When I first saw Engage, it looked trash to me, okay? It, it looked terrible. And I'm going to tell you why. Hear me out. But it looked trash. Now, before you start hating on me, you say, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I have played so many different Fire Emblem games just, just straight up. I've played, you know, Face. I've played Awakening. And I know you're like, oh, those are the most recent ones. I get it. I know. I have not been playing the one back when Martha was alive back in 1980. But it doesn't mean that I just don't know what I'm talking about, okay? The most recent ones, like Three Houses, I still play them. I still enjoy them. But I think Fire Emblem need to do something new. But the problem is this this dude, I'm pretty sure his name is a Aaliyah. Like, it's like supposed to be like clear with the C but it's an A, so it's Aaliyah. I don't know, they didn't pronounce it. Anyways, Aaliyah, I don't hate the character. He's not trash, he doesn't look terrible. When I first saw him though, and now how I personally feel, I feel like it's just too much. It's too much colors. You know when you sit there and maybe you, you I don't know how many people have watched this, but you watch an anime and you see somebody with pink hair and you know that that is the main character. If somebody has Yu-Gi-Oh looking hair, that means that they are important. That's just the truth. And that was the problem with this character. Like, let's be honest. There are characters that people hated in the past series. Ike, because he has blue hair. Krom, you hated his blue hair. Lucina in the same game, because you hated this blue hair. It's, it, there's so many of them that have blue hair. When you saw something different like Byleth or Corrin, it was unique, it was, it was new. But as soon as you see this, it, bro, come on now. Besides the appearance, I can let it go. It doesn't have to be a big thing to me. I don't know why they feel they need to do so much. I know the blue hair can get annoying. I get it, right? But you can do something very calm and, and I don't know, throw in a black hair color, I won't notice it, right? As long as the character looks good. I just don't know if Nintendo is understanding. You don't have to go ball to the wall for this, right? You, he, he doesn't need to have a split like that. But again, I digress. It's, it's okay, it's different, and hopefully it won't be very distracting. These characters do seem to be very colorful anyway, so maybe it's just the type of game, but compared to some of the older stuff, oh boy, these are gummy bears. Now, getting into the gameplay, it looks like it's the usual thing in RPG that you can collect and grow characters, yada, yada, yada. The, the thing that they're trying to pass why characters like Martha in this game is by using this thing like a ring system. I, I don't know, and again, this is speculation. Maybe they said it directly inside the video and I just missed it. However, it seems as if characters can put on a ring and that ring basically embodies an old character that has passed in a previous timeline, such as Marth. This, the, the screenshot I'm gonna put up here is gonna show Marth and, oh, what's dude's name? Sigurd? Cigarette? I don't, know. I don't know what his name is. But he shows up here too, and it seems as if whenever you put this ring on, it's supposed to be, hey, I am embodying this previous character from another timeline. Now, I thought this would be exclusive to the main character, um, Alir. However, it seems this is like almost any character in the whole thing. There's another character that I put up on screen as well. I is it Celine, Selena, C Cecilia. I don't know her name as well, but she puts on a ring and she embodies another older redhead character in the series. So it seems as if as you collect these rings, you're going to be able to embody and fight as these characters using whatever abilities, spells, and stuff like that they have. Now, I don't know how far back that will go, but if any character can do it, right, That and, and I don't know if there's any matches, if, if you have to be a certain type of character to, to use a certain type of ring, but they even showed up with the, 
main villain of the series. He he put on a ring right before he was about to fight. So hopefully they have literally, I hope at least, at least 50 rings. Am I wishing too much? Most likely. But can I hope? Yeah. Now luckily, they did do story time with viewers. And they popped up with this, you know, little back tale here to show old legends. And it's about, what is it, six or some characters, maybe even more, inside the screenshot. And in this screenshot, they straight up show Lucina and Mark. And if Mark's in here, I'm going to assume Lucina's in here as well. But the interesting thing is, right next to them, that is Ike. That is Lynn, most likely, right? The two on the far left, I have no clue who they are. I'll be honest with you. Don't know who they are. But if you're telling me that these very popular characters of this series are going to be in here anyways, especially the main ones, I mean, you're doing something right. You know, I, I think that is a smart decision no matter what. Now, I'm going to cut this here because I don't want to ramble on and on, especially because we don't know a whole lot about this yet. But I do have a lot of hope for this game, right? This is something that I feel as if a lot of old people, that, not old people, y'all not old, I, I am, I know, but the older people that watch this series grow and change, um, you, you can still like it because, hey, you, you may get the character that you liked back then still technically in this new one. And this is also appealing to new people that are like, hey, I want to see, you know, new characters that are doing crazy things. They even talk about this main guy being a dragon, which I mean, will he be like Corrin? I mean, Corrin was such a bad dragon. It, it was terrible, but you get the point. This can be a good series and I, I pray it is, but I'm not about to go and disappoint myself, right? Giving myself expectations will only lead to disappointment. Now, I will buy it, I will be there, and I will criticize. If you buy something, you can criticize it, because they still get my money, they won, it's okay. So, anyways, let's go ahead and see what it's like when it comes out, and I really do hope this is a good game for the series. I really do hope it's the best one, so we'll see what that happens. Maybe I'll do a video about it in the near future, so... With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Thank y'all for listening. Um, we'll go ahead and get into the next whatever it may be. Uh, maybe I'll talk about all these farms and stuff like that. So with that being said, y'all take care. Have a good one.